the voyage out of my mind into my head into my cells over 300 times each time I have made this voyage I have tried to communicate it to fellow voyagers and to my fellow men partly as the result of our experiences at the present time over a million Americans have had the experience of going beyond their mind into the eerie, shifting, pulsating world of energy systems within their own body. In addition to the million Americans who have taken psychedelic drugs such as LSD, there are hundreds of millions of other people who have heard this news. Hundreds of millions of people in this country, in South America and Europe, who have been disturbed, fascinated, confused, irritated by the rumors about psychedelic drugs, their promise, their challenge, their perils. What are psychedelic drugs? The first thing to be said is that they're no new arrival on the human historical scene. Sacred plants and vegetables have been used for thousands of years, back to the dawn of human history, by wise men, medicine men, prophets, to expand man's mind. Today, in our technological society, we have produced dozens of chemicals which perform the same function. LSD, mescaline, dimethyltryptamine, psilocybin. There's a long litany of psychedelic chemicals, all of which, interestingly enough, are based on organic or botanical chemicals. And the powerful drugs which we now have to expand human consciousness are not the end. Each few months, the biochemists come up with a new molecule which talks directly, eloquently and powerfully to the human nervous system, opens it up and changes it. What do these ancient plants and modern drugs do to the human mind? They expand consciousness. What is consciousness? Consciousness is energy which is received and decoded by a physiological structure. There are as many levels of consciousness available to the human being as there are structures, anatomical organs inside the body for decoding different sorts of energies. Specifically and statistically, there are hundreds of levels of consciousness whirling around inside your nervous system and your cellular systems, each one a universe unto itself with its own meaning, its own dialect, its own politics, its own ecstasies, 
its own terrors, its own concepts of union and disillusion. There are hundreds of universes of intelligent energy inside your body. <laughs> 